Hi, my name is Laura Horley, and I wanted to let everybody know we're going to be doing the third year for the Worldwide Transformational Summit. We always pick a theme, and our, we are doing that again this year, and it's a little bit different than what we've done in the past, simply because of all the things that have taken place in the last year with all the natural disasters, the terror attacks, um, something that's closer to my heart in Las Vegas, the Las Vegas shooting. And, you know, just in general, there's just a lot of chaos and turmoil going on. But this isn't the point of the summit. The point is to bring enormous amount of hope and knowledge that you can overcome any of these things if you have the knowledge and the tools. So that's our goal, and it has been for the last three years, is to bring together experts from all over the world who are helping people address their problems and release them and overcome them. So this is what's exciting for me because this is something that's really close to my heart. And there's also a special guest that I'm going to be having on the summit, and it is my husband. And the reason he's going to be on the summit this year is we've talked about it and we decided there's such a very small, uh, I'm sure there's somebody out there doing it, so I don't want to say that there isn't, but I don't really know of anybody. My husband is going to be on the summit and giving a new perspective. And it's going to be a perspective from a man's point of view if you have a partner who has been sexually abused, what that does in the relationship, what that does to the partner, and how that just affects things in general. He's also going to share what it's like to um, not only to be the partner of this, but he wants some of the women. The women to know what it feels like from a man's perspective because I can tell you from my own perspective because of uh, having a great deal of sexual abuse physical abuse emotional abuse in my past um, it's really easy to get caught up in your own uh, feelings and pain of everything and forget the partner you're with is suffering too and they go through quite a bit. And so this is a perspective that um, I really feel is very important to be shared on both sides of it. He has a lot of great knowledge and wisdom that he can help both the, the one that has been sexually abused and the partner. If, because let's just face it, in most of the time, men do not really talk about these kind of things, or they, they don't do a lot of talking about too many things personally, and unless they're luck, really lucky to have a few special friends. But most of all, I think overall, that's not really the case for most men. And so what Steve has to say is going to be really, really important to help those who are struggling in silence and don't know where to go or what to say. You know, a lot of my past included, well, my whole life really growing up and early adulthood is there was so much abuse. And as a young child, I had, I was surrounded by all of my family members who were abusive in one way or another. So emotionally, sexually, sexually, physically. And I was sexually abused by um, multiple people in my family. And the thing is, is that you grow up feeling, I think this is the best word to say really, is worthless. There's a, there's a part, I think overall, when somebody's been hurt so deeply that we feel worthless. Um, I am a practitioner who sees quite a few clients in this area. And the one word that we all seem to have in common is feeling worthless. And how could you not? How could people that you love treat you so horribly? And so I spent many, many years um, in this situation, and it's very, very complex in the specific situation that I went through. And there was quite a few very heavy things involved. And it, it was something very, very hard to overcome, especially in the years that I was trying to do it. And talk therapy overall was not helping me a great deal. It did help me to remember the suppressed memories of everything, but I didn't know what to do with all the pain. And on occasion, I had people actually say, I don't even know how to help you, I'm so sorry. I can tell you those are the worst words that anybody wants to ever hear. 
when you're already in so much pain and so afraid, you don't know what to do with all these emotions. You don't know what to do with what's happened to you. And somebody says, sorry, I don't know what to do to help you. Um, I don't want anybody to ever, ever, ever go through that again or to ever have those words spoken. And that's really, I think, the bottom line for me with the Worldwide Transformational Summit. Because in my mind, if there are so many great people around the world doing amazing things to help people overcome their problems, then why not bring them all together so that they can share their views, their ideas, their thoughts, their tools, their modalities, whatever they've developed to help you overcome whatever has happened. So far to date, we've had two years of what the first year was 19 people and the second year was 23. And all of these people have brought just amazing information. I've learned so much. So I invite you to attend again this year. Um, we don't have the new people up this year yet, but you can still register if you want at www.summit.com. Um, and you can see what we did last year. So we look forward to seeing you in July again with fantastic people who are here to support, help, and change the world to a better place. Because the bottom line, if we know how to, we will. So we'll see you then. Take care.